Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures. Today we have some Marksman clones from the Spires, which are part of Parabellum's new Conquest game. So, these guys are right up my alley. You'll notice first off that they have no faces, really, because they're wearing masks, and they're probably hideously deformed, but they also have multiple limbs, which is always a plus in my book. Check that bad boy out. Three arms, and they've got this vaguely samurai aesthetic going on with their looks and armor as well. So you get 12 to a box and it does come with the command options there. If you can see it sort of kind of there. I can't really get it on film all that great. But let's take a look at what's inside. So the directions online that it says to go get right here weren't that helpful. I took a look at them before I started. In case you haven't built any of these Parabellum conquest models they do come with the necessary multi-base setup for everybody in the box so you get four stands and three stands with four guys this is your command sprue so you've got your standard and i'm assuming this head right here is for the champion we'll figure out how that goes and then we have the actual command card. Uh, one of these days, once we've got enough painted, we're going to actually give the game a try. And then you have what seem to be... Are they all the same? Yeah, they're all A sprues. So this is what the Marksman sprue looks like. So each model seems to consist of a front and back half. So you have like the torso right here, and then you're going to attach the extra arms, I'm assuming. And then... I know there's a loincloth bit, I think it's the front and back like so, and then you have the arm with the knife, and then the quiver as well. There are a whole bunch of extra little doodads and arrows, I'm not 100% sure where those go, and it's not very clear on the assembly page either. So I'm just going to clip everything off, and let's see what happens, shall we? So I have a bunch of parts in front of you guys, and I wanted to explain a little bit about these marksmen here. Um, all of the bodies, there's four actual bodies, and the legs and the torso all match up. You can't really mix and match them. I didn't do the best job of cleaning them, and that's something I'm going to talk about in a sec. But you have four actual poses, so there's a little bit of variety. Where you really get variety are actually in the sets of arms that attach to the torso, they just slot in like this, and there's at least, well, one, two, three, four, five, like at least five or six different poses for those arms alone. You also have uh, two different sets like this, where they are holding the bows in the other hand. These are for the command options. These are from the command sprue. And you only get one of this one, and the other one I'll show you in a sec, because I already built one of those guys. Uh, there's a couple of different arms with the bows themselves. There is one finger with the finger, one finger, <laughs> one bow with the fingers out, and then another where it's held down so this isn't going to make as much of a difference i've noticed and i'll show you some finished models you have on each of the sprues these hip armor pad things uh let me see that guy doesn't have one some of them have them attached already and none of the models i'm looking at do okay this one does one of the bodies here you can see it's attached like so it goes right there and then they have these weird straps that I have not been able to figure out what purpose they serve that somehow attach to the arm. Um, these pieces were the biggest pain in the butt to get off. Look at this. And I broke every, almost every one of them. You can see they have huge chunks of flash. Here's a sample of one of the broken ones. Um, they were just a miserable experience trying to get off. And that's one of the things I really wanted to talk about. The plastics, they're not bad, but the contact points that they're on for the parts is absolutely abysmal so you can see here a little bit better how thick of contact points these things have look at this it's thicker than the actual part and the biggest worst offenders are the arrows look how thin that arrow is and you can imagine when you try to cut them out they are going to be just destroyed so <laughs> here here's some of my arrow attempts and you can see that they're just all bent up uh, <laughs> and they're like disintegrating in my hand here yeah, not the greatest idea. I would either reinforce the arrows or just abandon them altogether. Besides that, you have these weird over-the-shoulder garment things with an armor pad. There are at least 
three variants that I've come across. There might be four, but they all are actually compatible with every one of the models. So it's just another little optional bit. The heads themselves are nothing unique. It's just this, you know, sliced down the middle, mask like so. They're all about the same. I can't really discern any difference. And same thing with the quivers. They have this weird slot here, and I know these aren't very well clean because I just haven't gotten around to them yet, but the ones I've actually worked on are. I'm not sure exactly where it's supposed to go. I'm assuming it's going to go on the folds of the cloth around their waist, like so. It seems like it, so that's just what I've been doing. I mean, you know, it's not like there's a right or wrong way to do it, but just so you're aware. Why don't we see what the actual models look like? So I built up a couple of them. And one of the things you'll notice real quick is that the poses themselves are actually quite varied, which I really like because if you're putting them on stands of four, since they are supposed to be a multi-based game, you can see that you're going to get a little bit of variation between all the models there. So I do like that about them. I did build one of the command models just to show off here as well. So again, very different in terms of the pose. He's got a fancy headdress as well. He has an extra fold in his cloth. I'm hoping that's where it was supposed to go. This is actually attached to his quiver. None of the other guys have quivers like that. So one of the command ones, and you can see he's got the bow at ease, and he's holding his little ceremonial knife and doing his techno-viking pose. So I really do like the design of the model. I just think that the sprue layout and how the parts are on there was a horrid, horrid affair. So you can see here, like, all the various contact points. I mean, I just try to clip it off neat and nice, and it's going to take some serious cutting and filing to get this thing ready to go. This is their standard, and it has this super weird, delicate, I don't know, veiny substance going on there. I'm not sure what that's all about. Looking at how the models actually compare to other models from the range, so I have one of the Spire drone guys. The marksmen seem to be a little bit taller, as you can see here. Let's see if I can zoom it in a little bit better. There we go. Let's see if I can do it without knocking over the camera. That'd be even better, wouldn't it? <laughs> so yeah, you can see here though that they're almost about the same size. They're more erect and standing up, whereas the drones are a little bit more hunched over maybe it's just their armor that's doing that and they only have two arms which is kind of cheesy um, grabbing one of the men at arms from the hundred kingdoms you can see here a little bit taller maybe it's his armor maybe it's just his stance or his big gentlemanly boots but when you start getting other stuff like games workshop or Frostgrave, they tend to start seeing some big discrepancies in scale. Literally, the guy crouching down is the same height as our witch hunter friend here. And in Frostgrave, well, you can see there's a huge difference in size. Um, I also grabbed a couple of undead dudes. My thought was, since I have been being lame and cheesy and cheap, in terms of using my drones as extra spearmen for the Mortec guard. I might do something similar with the... Whoa. Yeah, we're sort of kind of back on track there. So as I was saying, my hope was I was going to actually use these along with my Mortec guard and the whole OCR Bone Reapers. But the problem is there isn't really undead ranged units as of yet, but I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and paint these guys in a similar paint scheme just because it looks good and I've already started with some of the spire drone guard whatever spearman dudes so we'll just continue on with that overall a cool kit i like their weird samurai look i mean obviously it, it seems like that's what they're inspired by i like the three arms i just do not like that sprue layout and clipping them was a major frustration trying to get the pieces off all in one go without destroying them in the process so if you've got the patience to build them i think that they are a cool little unit um, they're definitely unique in terms of their visuals and hopefully we will see more interesting and strange shaped spire models in the near future with that said this is high lord tamberling with obscurities and miniatures and I'd like to say thanks for watching and hopefully we'll see you back here later soon bye bye